Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of our 30 days of prayer where we are learning to pray more effectively. Each day, we're going to be sending out on social media a prompt like this one to maybe help you pray in ways you've never prayed before. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of confession. When I come to Christ and I surrender my life to Him, He adopts me into His family. That means He's raising me as His own child. Well, when I adopt a chi- if I were to adopt a child from another country and bring him into my family, I'd teach him my language, I'd teach him the culture, I'd teach him how I want him to act and behave. And when the child misbehaved, I would discipline him. But one of the things I would teach my children is, hey, when you've done things wrong, I don't want you to carry it around, I don't want you to hide it from me, I want you to confess it to me. Let's work through it together and learn from it. That's the same way it is in the Bible. God wants us to come to Him when we blow it, and many times when we've said something or done something we shouldn't have done, or we failed to do something we promised we'd do, our consciences are sore, and like Adam in the garden, we run and hide, and we don't want God to see us, because we're ashamed. Well, we need to remember that God always loves us. He's our Father, and we can come to Him as His children and say, God, I blew that. I'm very sorry. I want to confess this to you. And so today, I want us to spend a little bit of time in confession, but I want you to listen to what David wrote in Psalm 32. Oh, what joys for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord is cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me, and my strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. But finally, I confessed all my sins to you, and I stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I'll confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. I mean, think how that can change our day. When we come to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm not going to hide anything from you. So I'm going to lead us in a simple prayer of confession. I'd ask you to join me. Oh, Heavenly Father, I am truly sorry for all the ways that I have offended you. Lord, I have sinned in my thoughts, I have sinned in what I have said, and I have sinned in what I have done. Father, I have sinned in what the things I have done, and I have sinned in the things I have failed to do. And I come before you now in repentance. Father, you know my innermost thoughts. I open my heart to you today. And Lord, I ask that you would show me the ways that I have grieved you. Search me and point out anything that offends you. I want you to lead me in the path of everlasting life. I don't want anything to interfere in our relationship and block the flow of your love and your power in my life. And just a moment of silence where you are right now. If there's anything that God brings to mind, something that you said or shouldn't have said, or should have said and didn't. If something you've done or didn't do, whatever it might be, just give it to the Lord right now and say, God, that was wrong. I'm so sorry. I know you want what's best for me, and I chose the wrong thing. Please forgive me. Well, Father, I want your love to flow through me today. And Lord, whenever I get out of step with your will, I want to confess that immediately. I don't want to run and hide from you. I love you and I need you. I need your spirit to empower me. And so God, help me keep in step and walk in step with you all day today. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. And thank you for always being more ready to listen than I am to pray. I am grateful for your forgiveness. In the name of Jesus, I pray these things. Amen.